As some of you that have been subscribed to this channel for quite a while may already know I am a big Fuji fan. So recently Fuji reached out to me and offered me to review some of their products. So for today's review, I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but better late than never. And here's my short take on the little gem of a camera, the Fuji X100V. Full disclosure, the camera was loaned to me by Fuji, but they didn't tell me what to say and I'm pretty much free to say whatever I want to say about this camera. Okay, so first let's talk about the build quality of the Fuji X100V. As you would expect, all Fuji products have just got this remarkable quality about them and it is something that I'm just amazed. I mean, they really feel premium and yeah, I don't have any complaints. The knobs and the dials all work fine. They feel really solid and this camera really does feel very metallic. It doesn't feel plasticky at all. So yeah, I'm really happy about this camera and how it feels. It's not too heavy and nor is it too light as well so yeah it's got a right balance of heaviness and lightness at the same time I don't know whether that makes sense but yeah you get what I mean okay so let's now talk about the specs of this camera anyway for today's review I'm not going to go too much in depth with the specs but yeah here are some of the specs the camera weighs around 478 grams the Fuji X 100V is a 26.1 megapixel camera and it uses the same x CMOS sensor found in the Fuji X-T3 and I think the X-T4 too. It comes with a fixed 23mm f2 built-in lens which has the equivalent focal length of about 35mm on a full-frame sensor camera. The lens has a closest focusing distance of around 10 centimeters, and so far I've been really liking the fact that I can really get close to my subjects with this lens. The camera also can record videos up to a maximum resolution of 4k 30p and it can record up to 120 frames per second in full HD. Like all Fujifilm cameras too, this camera also does come with film simulations. They include Classic Chrome, Eterna, Provia, and Acros. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so that's just to name a few, but there's a lot more than that. The camera also comes with a tilty screen. However, it doesn't flip sideways like the Fuji X-T3 does. Fuji X-100V comes with a really unique hybrid optical viewfinder too. And I must say, I was really impressed with the optical viewfinder as well, because it has this sort of hybrid thing where it overlays graphics onto that optical viewfinder so it is really quite nice okay so now that we've talked about the specs let's go into some of the usability and experience that I had with this camera in terms of usability and experience using this camera I would say it was pretty much the same like using any other Fuji cameras it was pretty intuitive and the button layout seems to be quite well placed although I do miss having a d-pad like the one on Fuji X-T3 while I was shooting I did find that the tilty screen was useful However, I did find that I was constantly wishing that the tilty screen could flip sideways to like the Fuji X-T3 could. That feature of being able to flip sideways is so useful, especially when you need to shoot subjects vertically from a lower angle or when you have a slightly difficult angle to shoot with. Anyway, yeah, I guess that's one thing I really wish that this screen had. Anyway, before I waffle too long, here are just some image samples I managed to shoot with it. I must say, I do love the images that come out from this camera. The images captured by this camera really has some character in it and it really does have that old school kind of vibe somehow. It feels very filmic like and I'm not just talking about the film simulation. It's just the way the images are rendered. Yeah, I mean, it's just nice. Right then. So what's my conclusion after using this camera for a few weeks now? What do I think about it? And who do I think should really get this camera? Okay, I don't know where to start, but here goes. The first time I saw this camera, I have to admit it was love at first sight. To me, this camera is truly gorgeous and I'm happy to say that its gorgeousness is not just skin deep. Thank God. This little camera really inspires me to bring it out every single time just because of how unfussy it is to shoot with. When I bring this camera out, I'm never worried about what lens combo I want to bring along as there's no need to think about all those sort of things since it's a fixed lens camera. And I guess that fixed lens forces me to be a bit more creative and work with whatever I'm presented with in front of me. And for me, I like that because there are days that I just want to 
go out and just bring a camera that just allows me to shoot great quality photos and videos too on the side without feeling weighed down. To me, if I had the extra cash, I wouldn't really think much and I would just buy this camera as a spare camera to use during times when I just want to be carefree and have a gorgeous camera too to shoot with. I guess looks does matter too if it inspires you to pick it up and want to use it even more. More often than not, it is the camera that you want to pick up the most that will provide you with the most fun in my opinion because how a camera makes you feel is just as important in my opinion. Fuji cameras in my opinion just have that emotive quality and tactileness that makes them so irresistible to use. Right, so that's it then. I hope you guys found this short review helpful and if you did, please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe to my channel. So if you do feel like supporting this channel by making a small contribution, I have left a link to my buy me a coffee down in the description below. Also, I did leave links in the description down below to all the gears that I use to make these videos. Right then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.